Hello. Okay, I think we're good. Um, goodness me. I did not go over things. Um, where are we at? Today is Thursday, the 9th of May. And uh, yeah, I'm, I suppose as a follow on from the, the video I made on this front on Tuesday, I think it was. Yeah, Tuesday. Just trying to, uh, well, I say trying to get back into the habit of doing it. I haven't lost the habit of doing it. It just hasn't been a priority or, or been the right time. And it was interesting. I, uh, I really don't listen to podcasts that much anymore. I think it just, I suppose, I don't really feel like there was ever a fantastic opportunity for me to, to listen to one or maybe whatever I'm doing in my life at the moment means there's not time where I'm maybe walking for 20, 30 minutes anymore or on a train for that time. And that's usually when I would, would have listened to them. Um, but uh, I listened to a podcast where the person was talking about uh, their journey in, in specifically podcasting and I suppose in general content creation and the topic came up uh, I suppose around this idea of you know how do you keep going in the early stages or, or why do you keep going in the early stages when you're basically speaking to nobody and some of the statistics, I, I, I can't remember all of them exactly off the top of my head, but in short, the, the statistics they pulled out were really interesting to me. It was like, essentially, if you can get past, uh, I think they said one, or maybe it was one, two or three videos or podcasts, um, you've probably done more than the vast majority of people. If you can get past something like 21, you're in the one percent or something like that so the barrier for being incredibly successful in terms of your ability to create consistent content is actually remarkably low and um, you could then make the case after that look is the content actually useful is the podcast actually helpful are the videos how you know interesting to people or are they high quality whatever are they actually i suppose addressing pain points or bringing up problems that people you know need answers to etc so it was it was good timing because his point was essentially if he'd been doing it for traction early on or if he'd been doing it for likes or engagement early on he wouldn't have got to number six or seven hundred or whatever it is he's at now and again the last statistic i'll mention he, he more or less alluded to the fact how in out of those six or seven hundred episodes the compounding effect of his reach is is quite extraordinary it's like in the last year or in the last 30 days alone he's got more views and more new subscribers than he did in the first three years doing it and that to me kind of made me realize it's like two things really one i'm not doing this i think i'll go right back to one of the first videos and for some reason i don't know why it could be because of the stuff i'm doing on linkedin now where i am more focused on reaching people and engaging with people and converting people um but I've almost been tricked into thinking that because I'm not getting as much reach on YouTube videos that I should stop doing it. And it comes back to why I started doing this again. I, I pretty much do this for myself. Like selfishly, I do this because I want to give myself a chance to, to air some thoughts or share how things are going within the business. And someone commented on a post I made uh, when I started doing these, saying that it'll be a great way to reflect back on how the business has gone and just pick random moments from the the first year of the company and be like, oh, what was I thinking or how was I feeling that week? So I'd forgotten my why specifically in relation to why I'm doing these videos. And on Tuesday, I tried to answer the question kind of as to why I'd, I'd maybe tailed off a bit. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, it just took a, it just took someone's different perspective, which is something that I do quite a lot of for, for people I work with is offer my different perspective from outside their business. It took someone's different perspective on, a, on the matter to shed some light on probably why what had happened had happened. And um, yeah, it was quite revealing. I, yeah, I, I definitely feel an, an urge or a need to continue doing these. Um, it's just so interesting to me how again to me proves that you can only keep a couple of things really properly in your line of focus for so long 
So on that whiteboard behind me, there's no mention of doing these YouTube videos, but there's mention of doing LinkedIn content. And I, you can't have, it comes back to this thing where you, I mean, you can't have too many focuses. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't work. The word focus in itself is the, is the clue there. You have to focus your attention on something. And I myself find it very, very, very challenging. And I alluded to this recently when I was having a conversation with a friend. I find it very challenging at the moment to go between tasks and I don't know why I feel that way. I don't know what's changed. I would have said when I was MD of an agency, you have to go between things very quickly and be able to get up to speed with different situations that could be anything from a financial matter to like a HR related query to a real issue with a client that's been escalated to something nitty gritty within the business to then talking about strategy for the long term, I suppose, business. Whereas now I feel like it takes me quite long to shift gears and I, I honestly don't know why that is. It could just be something I'm telling myself to maybe explain why I'm moving slower in certain places um, than I would expect to. But anyway, um, overall some interesting thoughts on, on this front and I think I, I do not journal. I used to journal quite a lot. I've alluded to the fact that that was a really helpful thing for me at a certain period of, of my career. I don't do it as much as I used to. Journal is just a fancy way of saying you write down what's on your mind to me. I mean, you put a bit of structure around it, you do it consistently, and then you have an outlet, basically. Um, it doesn't transform your life, it doesn't transform your business. It just gives you an opportunity to get stuff that's out of your head that might be blocking you from doing good work that day. If you don't do journaling, you need to have something. Maybe it's someone you speak to more frequently. Maybe it's going for a walk and talking to yourself. Maybe it's talking to yourself in the van or the car on the way to work. I don't know, but you need to have some form of, of getting things out of your head. And for me, interestingly, as I dropped off journaling in the last few months, these videos I think had taken its place. And while I'm not exactly maybe sharing aspects of my life in the way I would with a, a notebook that's sitting in front of me, I'm sharing quite a lot, uh, at least it feels like I am, or at least I don't really particularly feel like I'm hiding things from any from these videos, and uh, specifically in relation to the business. And I think that's also something that I, I became more conscious of in the last 48 hours, was that probably there's been a few times in the last month where I've missed that, or I've, I've not let something go before I started work, or let something go before I finished work, and I've, I've carried it with me as baggage as they say and uh, yeah not having these videos up and running regularly is, is a reason for that happening so anyway I thought that was interesting specifically on the agency front I or, or on the, the business front with agencies I got some news yesterday from two clients where I literally said out <laughs> I'll not repeat what I said out loud because um, yeah not suitable in terms of language but it was a very excited response to great news and it just made me think as well it's funny a lot of the time when i work with people there are problems or challenges to overcome some of the time there are exciting opportunities to talk about but regardless of which one it is you're trying to help them move towards something which is ultimately building a better business or growing their company or whatever it might be or even helping them get their place that's better or healthier for them within that business uh, and then when you get a message saying like one of the messages yesterday was a, a general update on how things were going the last couple of weeks since we've had a session and they'd won a couple of new clients a couple of things we'd set up and been working on were going really well and just in general, it was clear that things were moving in a really nice direction for them. I could hear it in their voice that they were excited and enthusiastic about what's coming up. And um, I, I was over the moon. I was so, so happy for them. And I think that that is, I've pretty much carried that with me into today because I'm just like, I need, to, I want that to happen more. I want that to happen more for my clients. Um, and greet and from a greedy perspective yeah it, it makes me feel great whenever my clients do well or, or feel like they're moving in the right direction so i want to do things that increase that type of message um which is i suppose validating that the work i'm doing is is actually helping people which you know truthfully is important um 
so yeah that's what's been coming up that's what's been on my mind that's what's been happening and today and tomorrow are very much work days i've got a couple of intro calls today in the afternoon um but beyond that it's uh yeah it's very much just get the head down and get on with some work so i'm gonna park this here for now um crack on with things hopefully get outside today the kind of strange it usually takes until around may i feel like in ireland for the heat to finally appear and the heat is here it's it's, there's, it's definitely short weather and uh we'll get outside today for some some fresh air and some sunshine so that's all for now uh i'm not even gonna say i don't know when i'll be back with these videos to be honest i think the ambition is there for me to to try and get back into the the most day of most, most posting most days in the week um but equally I, I don't have it built into my calendar it's not a priority so if i can do them i'll do them if i can't do them i'm not going to that's pretty much it so anyway that is it i will catch you soon